guys? Okay, yes. So we both look crazy today. We get this, all right? So Joanna's back making a special appearance, so it's so exciting. I still have, I'm donning the uh, latest unmatching eyeshadow for my last one. So I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite designs. Now, I live in South Florida, and um, I absolutely love face painting, and I love challenging myself to create new designs. So, so I love coming up with these new rainbow cakes. So really what I do instead of working is I just design new rainbow cakes and arty cakes. Okay, so this one is called Fairy Dust. And I love this one because it's getting ready for those fall colors. So I'm going to make him kind of like a fallish, uh, mermaidish princess. So I'm going to draw out my mermaid first. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to use my rainbow cakes. So I'm using um, this Fab Flesh Tone color. And I'm just going to load up my sponge a little bit. We're not going to touch that area because it's gross. Um, so then I'm just going to uh, turn her a little bit this way. So the first thing I'm going to create is the body. And this is the head that I'm making. And I don't focus too much um, on making it 100% perfect because I'm not the best uh, caricature artist. You know, like I'm not really good at doing cheek art. So I just do the basics. So this is the body and the the face and the body and so i made one arm coming across and one arm is kind of inviting you to her face so i made like a c right there head arms body um, even if it's not perfect we're going to go in and we're going to outline it and then i'm going to take i'm going to use um, this aussie mermaid arty cake to create the body so again i'm just going to go in load back and forth or not the body the tail so I start off by making kind of like a little U or a little loop and another little loop. And I bring it down on both sides and flip it just like that. So then I'm going to just uh, make the little fins just like that. So here is my mermaid in the body. And now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to outline it. But before I do that, before I put any more details into this, which you can just go in and create the little scales if you want to while you have your brush loaded and it's wet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the rest of this mask. So using my sponge and using my arty cake, I'm just going to um, spritz it so that I'm not spraying her in her face. She's good. She backs up. So I sprayed it. Now I'm going to load it with my sponge and you want to roll your sponge over it in the direction that the stripes are in because if you go the other way you're going to make brown so now i have it pretty much loaded so now look at me joanna for one second so because this is a mask that's flowing across her face just like that so then what i'm going to do is this design is going to come across just like that so i'm going to start off here on this side and i'm going to head up so you see this beautiful blend right there, and I'm going to bring that all the way across. So because it's kind of flowing in here, I'm just going to uh, kind of bend my sponge, come across it, across her nose, so I can finish up there. So just like that. Now, even though I have these rough edges right inside of there, and I want this color to show up a little bit more. So even though I have those that's kind of rough edge right inside of here, you have two options. Either you can take your uh, take your your baby wipe and you can just kind of clean up the edge because you don't want that rough edge, or we can cover it up using our strokes because we are going to be doing our swirls and curls. But either way, it's up to you. Now make sure if you like these designs you, that you check out the rest of my videos and that you check out Faba TV because that's why uh, I work so hard to keep on bringing you guys cool new designs because I want you guys to enjoy them. I want you to uh, keep on practicing and enjoying yourself face painting. So I'm, not so I'm pulling out this Fab Plum color which is just awesome. I really love this color. So I start off by making the hair on my mermaid. So I'm just going to make this nice, long, flowy hair. And I think when you use colors like red for mermaids, that it automatically, the kids think of Little Mermaid. So because this is kind of like a wineish burgundy color, um, that's why I think it works good too. So notice what I did. The hair comes around here, comes over past the arm. So it's kind of like she's swimming onto the face. 
So then the next thing is I'm going to use another bright color to create uh, the mermaid top. So I'm just going to pick up probably a little bit of a teal or a turquoise to match um, this design. So I start off by making the little uh, bandeau top, connect it right in there. So now you can kind of see this mermaid coming to life. So then the last thing I'm going to do is just creating or using a little bit of black. Um, I'm going to give this her body a little bit more of an outline and notice what I'm doing I'm going very thin because you really want it to be um, like a, a softer outline versus a harsh black line because then you kind of take away from the whole cartoonish effect so as you can see I just gave her body a little bit of an outline same thing I'm going to create it her hand gets thinner at the end I'm not worried about it being perfect because more than anything I just want to create a cool design so I'm just going to give the hair um, a little bit of a shape too and then I'm going to make my eyes a little bit make her smiling of course because she's happy to be part of Joanna's face so I'm just adding a little bit more of a swirl. So now I have the beginning of my whole mermaid design. Now what I'm going to do is bring, bring out my super cool, um, uh, these are the badass stencils again. And I'm looking for the one that has the kind of like the bubbles on it. So I'm just going to load a little bit of white on my sponge. So just like this, you want to make sure it's not wet because if you put wet on top of uh, damp paint, then you're going to have a problem. So look over here at me. So right in the middle, I'm going to start off here and I'm just going to press so that I have a good coverage right in the middle. So I lift it up and then I have these dots right inside of there. And even if I, got, I left a little mark on his nose or her nose and I'm just going to cover it up right inside of there and I'm going to lay down all of my dots first. So again, I'm following the shape of the face on the corner of the, the uh, cheekbone. So I'll lift it up, have my dots right inside of there and I'll do the same thing on this side. Just fill it in right inside of there. So now the last thing that I'm going to do is just build off of this and finish creating this design to make it one uniform or full piece. And then I'm going to just add my strokes and my swirls and curls right around it to make it kind of flow so that it's actually one full design. So in coming off of her hand right inside of here, Joanna's gonna turn. I make my first swirl right inside of there connected as if it's coming off of her so I finish up just like that right inside of here and then I'm going to follow this same pattern around so that I keep it up and over the nose so now I'm going to just put it right inside of there come off of it and I'm going right over some of these dots because I want to actually create uh, the outline using um, my using my my swirls and curls so if you can just kind of turn this way all the way thank you so now I'm going to meet it again so the same way that I did in Jenny's eye how I needed a start and a finish and connect it in the middle that's what I'm gonna do here so I'm gonna come right off of the eye and I made a swirl right on top of it I'll come right off of it come right around it swirl on top of it and I'm going to create that same effect right inside of here. So I'm taking my teardrops, bringing them in. So now all I have to figure out is how to connect this point to this point. And I'm just going to do the same thing that I did there. Come off of it and fill in with my teardrops. And then right inside of here, I'm going to just fill in those two gaps using my, uh, my dots and I'll do the same thing on this side. So I'm just going to swirl of things. You can add some starburst. You can add a second set of curls and swirls right inside of here, but what you do on one side, you wanna balance it off on the other. Now I'm going to start off by adding a little bit of lipstick here. 
And lipsticks come with sound effects. Grunting uh. men. Grunting trannies. More like it. Okay, so while... Because you moved and you grunted and now I gotta fix this. Gosh. Okay, so while the glitter, I mean, while the lipstick is wet, I'm just going to add a little bit of this magic magenta. Um, open your lips a little bit. Okay, so the reason that I do that while, okay, a little bit more. Thank you. Thank you. So the reason I do this is because you want the glitter to really um, stand out. Okay, go <laughs> normal, normal lips, normal lips. Okay, so you want the glitter to really stand out uh, when and stick while your paint is still wet. Okay, so again, an outline is very subtle. You don't want to go overboard. And notice how I'm not outlining every single piece. All right, so I'm just very gently adding a little bit of black to the tips just like this ever so gently and you can even go in and add a little bit to some of your dots come off of the eye and create that eyelash just to make it a little bit more kind of girlerific if that's a word and then I'm going to again just kind of come around here swirl swirl bring it up and around because that's what I want to do. I want to just use that black as a way to dress up this design. And because I added a few little eyelashes there, I'll add them here too. And then ever so often I'm going in and adding a little bit of um, kind of outline right around that, those, uh, my dots. So now the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of glitter, a little bit of this uh, white fairy dust right around each side, just like this. And just kind of stick, you don't want to overdo it. And then Joanna is going to look at the camera and she's going to show you guys uh, this mermaid-ish design without scaring everybody. And then... I just want to tell everybody thank you for joining me today and thank you Joanna for being an amazing model and again you could replace this piece right here and you can put dolphins you can put a sunshine you can just make this a mass just like that so uh, thank you guys for joining us today and I will see you soon check us out on Facebook thanks guys Like it's hot now.